The country of Switzerland is known for many things. Fresh air, high mountain alpines, the banking industry, and a high quality healthcare system. The Red Cross, a symbol to represent medical aid workers, is also used for the country's flag. The World Health Organization, a specialized agency of the United Nations that acts as a coordinating authority on international public health, is located in Geneva, Switzerland. And in Switzerland, internet access for educational institutions is provided for free. The Federal Department of Public Health in Switzerland prefers LAN, wired connections, to wireless. By having such a close association with the World Health Organization, what has the Swiss government learned about Wi-Fi that we are unaware of? Cell phone radiation is mainly limited to the duration of the call. If you live close to cell phone towers, you are exposed to constant microwave radiation from the antennas. Here, I am measuring the constant radiation emitted by the cell phone antennas on top of this apartment building. These high levels of microwave radiation that are used to connect our cell phones can also be found in our homes. Hi, my name is Magda Havis. Today we're going to look at some of the equipment in your home that emits microwave radiation. This is a Wi-Fi base station and it sends information wirelessly to your computer. Your iPhone and your iPad. And this is the radiation we need to be worried about. The constant pulsing digital frequencies that are sent out by the base station, whether or not other devices are connected to them. You are exposed to an even greater level of radiation generated by your Wi-Fi enabled device, such as an iPad, smartphone, or laptop computer when downloading and uploading information. Indeed, the microwave transmitter may be handheld, iPad or smartphone. Caution should be exercised primarily when using devices held close to the body, such as laptops, PDAs, and internet telephones. Holding a laptop or a smartphone or an iPad in your hand is comparable to placing a cell phone to your ear. Swisscom was so concerned about the effects from long-term exposure to pulsed Wi-Fi radiation from their internet provider services that they filed a patent with the World Patent Office that demonstrates a method to eliminate the radiation that constantly broadcasts from Wi-Fi base stations when not in use. Medical authorities are telling us to limit our use of cell phones and not to have them in contact with our body. Why does Switzerland warn its citizens about the dangers of these devices? What do they know that we don't know or are not being told? Perhaps we should follow their lead. Living in this modern world of ours, we can't help but constantly be surrounded by these high-tech gadgets and electronics because they make our lives convenient. However, without our knowledge, it also comes with the hazard of being exposed to electronic pollution also known as e-smog. E-smog is the radiation emitted from our gadgets that affect our biofield. Exposure to these pollutants have damaging health effects. But thanks to the Fusion XL Quantum Shield, I'm protected. It really works. 